OK, we're going to look at the Sky High airliners and to start with, let's create an IPSO chart to find out what the main inputs, processes, storage and outputs are from this. So, looking through, as we start to read, uh, it's the second paragraph that we can start to identify what the inputs, what the outputs are. So it says the airline company has a flight club. A customer can join the flight club by contacting the airline. We've got straight away, we notice we've got join the flight club. So this gives us a process. So if we put these as inputs, I always like to have outputs over here, processes. So first process, join flight club. OK, they contact the airline. The customer submits an application form by email. So we've got there an input application form and this has come from a customer. If the application is rejected, the customer might not have included all the details, the customer will receive an email rejection letter. So this gives us an output. Email rejection letter and that has gone to the customer. OK, so we've completed the first paragraph. Let's look at the next paragraph. If the application form is accepted, the registrar will add the customer's details to the flight club member list and create a customer account as well. The customer will then receive a letter of acceptance generated by the registrar. So we've got a process that's taking place in the middle here where it's verifying that customer's um, application form. So it's either going to accept it or it's not going to accept it, but we're verifying the application. Um, we did notice that they will receive a letter of acceptance, so there we have an output. Okay, so we've covered the first few paragraphs then. Um, okay, so we've covered the first two, three paragraphs now, uh, looking at the inputs, looking at the processes and outputs. So let's continue. So a customer can leave the flight club by sending a removal email. The registrar will interact with the system to remove the customer's account, remove the customer from the flight club member list. So the thing that's been input here is the removal email. So input removal email. Again, this has come from the customer. If we try and think what process is taking place, the process is leave the flight club. OK, next paragraph. To book a flight, the customer telephones the booking office. So this is outside the system. The booking office enters booking details. OK, so we've got booking details as being an input. The customer account is retrieved, flight details retrieved, the booking is added to the booking list. So what is taking place? We're booking a flight. When the bookings are closed, the airline manager requires a list of all customers who are booked on a flight. So that is an output. So list of customers is going to the manager. And we could say the process there, generate list. Okay, a customer can cancel their booking. We can spot there a doing word, so it's a process cancel booking and to do so they telephone the booking office the booking office interacts with the system they enter cancellation details so therefore that is an input from the booking office 
the customer will then be sent a confirmation or cancellation letter. So that is an output to the customer. And the process that's taking place, cancel booking, we've got that in there. Okay, the scheduler enters details of flights which get added to the list of flights. So we've got input, details of flights, that's a scheduler, and that process is add a flight. So the schedule enters details of flights, they get added to the list of flight details. The scheduler is also responsible for cancelling flights by entering cancel flight details. So cancel flight and they enter cancellation details. If a flight is cancelled, the system provides the booking office with details of all customers who were booked onto the flight. So that's an output details of customers booked onto flights and that goes to the booking office and that completes our list of inputs, outputs and processes. So just to confirm, the inputs we've got application form, removal email, booking details, cancellation details, details of flights, cancellation details, and that's of flights. Outputs, email rejection letter, letter of acceptance, list of customers, confirmation of cancellation letter, details of customers booked onto a flight. And the processes, which will be used in a level one diagram, join flight club, verify the application, leave the flight club, book a flight, generate list, cancel booking, add a flight, cancel a flight. It could be that you decide verifying the application is the part of the joining the flight club process so there's nothing to stop us taking that one out which leaves us with seven processes. The optimum to use should be six, one over it's not going to make too much difference. The last box is storage, what storage is requ required and we saw that we need to so if it's accepted we've got flight club member list customer account so flight club member list customer account we noticed that um, we've got a booking list and we've also got a list of flights. And that concludes our Ipso chart, which makes it much easier to then go ahead and produce a set of DFDs.